Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, is becoming the standard for interacting with large corpuses of unstructured data, such as product catalogues, legal documents, or business reports. But finding the correct document among millions, if not billions of other documents, is a challenging task, especially if you want near instant responses. This is why Vespa is proud to announce the RAG Blueprint. The RAG Blueprint is a collection of best practices and guidelines for designing, evaluating and deploying scalable RAG applications. It walks you through the steps you need to do and the considerations you need to make for each step in order to create RAG applications that deliver high quality results at scale. Instead of just being a what is RAG, it shows you how to implement RAG using Vespa. From defining your searchable unit to selecting your retrieval strategy, evaluating and quantifying your retrieval and ranking pipeline, and how to provide only the relevant context to your LLM. The blueprint is not a how to do RAG in five minutes, although that is possible if you simply run through the steps. We're providing an in-depth tutorial of RAG using machine learned models for document chunk selection and evaluating and improving your application. We also provide a sample application that you can follow along with and a Python notebook if you prefer that format. Here, I have followed the guide and deployed the sample application so that we can see the RAG blueprint in action. We'll start by making a query using hybrid search about fine tuning LLMs and we'll see what results that gets us. And sure enough, it has returned a bunch of results and we'll go to the top to see what the application has deemed the most relevant to our search query. And we see that the first one has something to do with fine tuning LLMs and so does the second one and so does the third one. So we see that our machine learned ranking function is doing quite a good job of selecting the most relevant documents. If we scroll further down, we'll see here less relevance with regards to fine tuning LLMs. Now we can try to query the application with the generation, essentially showcasing the full RAG pipeline from retrieval to generation. So we'll run the same query as last time and we can see here it is now generating a response based on the documents that it has fetched in the background. Hopefully by following the RAG blueprint you can start building your own production ready applications.